stories of the all-electric Tesla Model S P85D's spine-jarring acceleration are definitely not exaggerated. Viral videos show the glee and or terror of passengers being rocketed from a standstill to 60 miles an hour in 3.1 seconds pretty well, but the rush you get from stomping on the all-wheel drive dual motor car's accelerator is best conveyed by the raw, unbridled honesty of a child. Whenever my four-year-old daughter, safely and very securely strapped into her car seat in the back, gave me her permission to go fast, her response every single time was, Wee! Accompanied by a look of pure delight that melted my heart. If I could afford to write Tesla a $125,000 check to cover the fully loaded P85D they'd loaned me, they'd have never gotten the car back. But since we first reviewed it two years ago, has the Tesla evolved and matured enough to make it the obvious choice for any tech-obsessed person shopping for a new car? Or is it still best suited for early adopters only? Oh, it's the obvious choice, all right, and that sense starts from the moment you prepare to get in the P85D. The door handles extend out to meet your hand as you approach the car, made possible by the Model S sensing the key fob nearby, making you feel like you're a superhero who can control machines. And once your butt hits the seat, you're ready to go. Like in previous Model S variants, the Tesla senses the key fob and your butt in the driver's seat. So simply press the brake pedal and the car turns on. I especially love the exit procedure for Model S. Get out and walk away. That's it. The car shuts itself off and locks itself down as soon as you get out of spitting distance from it. The P85D's other features are equally impressive. The optional new next generation seats are the most comfortable I've ever experienced in a car. The forward-facing cameras on 2015 build Teslas not only add traffic adaptive cruise control, but also read speed limit signs and can be programmed to either beep or vibrate the steering wheel when you're going too fast. Later this year, Tesla will enable the first wave of autopilot functionality via that built-in hardware. The promised features include the ability for the Model S to pull into and back out of your garage by itself which, in my close quarters San Francisco neighborhood, I'd pay money to see it do. And thankfully, nearly all of the missing goodies I wanted two years ago have been added. Parking sensors and auto-folding power mirrors are now standard hardware, while the backup indicator lines on the backup camera came early this year via a firmware update. 4G LTE connectivity is starting to show up in the very latest cars rolling out of Tesla's factory, though my loaner was still on 3G. The only thing missing is third-party apps, which Tesla promised long ago. As nice as the included slacker radio is, it's a shame that $20,000 Fords have Pandora integrated, but the Model S doesn't. Those tech goodies are more important to the Model S's viability as your one and only car in the long run, but it's the D in P85D that rightfully gets all the headlines. Due to the electric drivetrain and lack of any gears to shift through, the Tesla offers a completely linear power curve and, more profoundly, 100% of maximum torque from zero miles per hour. Add to that the advantages of the dual-motor all-electric drivetrain, namely millisecond quick adjustments to each wheel that keep the car bear-hugged to the road at all times, and an astounding 691 total horsepower, and what was a delightfully roller coaster like acceleration in our 2013 P85 becomes like Spaceballs' ludicrous speed in the P85D. It has a physical effect on your body that's difficult to convey. Elsewhere on the road, you almost never have to hit the brakes once you get used to how the car drives, as Tesla's regenerative braking recaptures energy and feeds it back into the battery when you lift your foot off the accelerator, slowing the car by itself in the process. As for long distance travel, supercharging has changed a lot since our first review two years ago. This is thanks not only to a vastly expanded free to use charging network around the US and Europe, but also navigation updates in the Model S software. The version 6.2 firmware in my review car shows superchargers and destination chargers 
right on the car's Google Maps-based navigation app. Better, the Model S can now route you to your destination through the superchargers needed to get you there, and show you how much charge you'll have when you arrive at each, and how long you'll need to stay there before you'll have enough juice to comfortably complete the next leg of your journey. While I wouldn't quite agree with Tesla CEO Elon Musk that this ends range anxiety, it certainly makes trip planning significantly easier, and, in my experience, it's exceptionally easy to use. Two years ago, I compared the initial Model S P85 to the original iPhone. I said, astoundingly, this is only the 1.0 version. Remember how quickly the iPhone evolved, for instance, and it's almost terrifying, in a good way, to imagine what the 2.0 of this car will be capable of. The P85D is that 2.0 version, and, well, terrifying is an apt word for it. And yes, it's still the good kind of terrifying. I'd buy one tomorrow if I could afford it. And it's not even about going green or sticking it to the oil companies, regardless of the Model S's 93 miles per gallon equivalent rating. Make no mistake, however, the P85D is a 5,000 pound middle finger to Tesla's detractors and doubters. With the Model S, the tech is the car and vice versa. They're inseparable. As such, this is a tech junkie's dream car. It's smart, it's efficient, it's safe, it's fun, and it gets better over time via over-the-air firmware updates. Oh, and one hard stomp of your right foot brightens up a bad day real fast. For more on all of the latest and greatest tech, you're already in the right place right here at IGN.